Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, our Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern blog. Now, again, there is on the bottom of the screen a scrolling banner. There's important numbers on that banner. I put this up initially on uh, Saturday night during Gamer's Health, and I've had a number of people reach out and say these numbers were important, that you keep them up. They're, they're hoping that people in their family or their, their circles read this. We're going to make a point, at least this week, uh, of trying to keep these this banner up there. Um Please, avail yourself of these numbers if you need it. So, today we're going to talk briefly about Tales of the Valiant RPG, launching Black Flag role-playing. The hardest fifth edition core rules for high fantasy games, including a monster vault and a player's guide to power your magical... Try power your campaign. Now, it broke a million. Not a bad thing. 1.065, I'm going to guess, going to end around uh, maybe uh, 1, 150. It's got 9,156 back. There's 22 hours to go. <clears throat> this is Cobalt Press. This is the 5E third-party publisher creating their own 5E-powered rules in response to the OSR debacle, they can't get 10,000 backers. They're barely breaking a million. They're not going to hit Shadow Dark numbers. Think about that. Shadow Dark. And, and Kelsey did not come out of nowhere, for sure. But she's not Wolfgang. Right? She's not Cobalt Press. Arcane Library made some very good releases for 5e in the DMs Guild. And they took in $1.365 million. Tales of the Valiant isn't. Now, you could say there might have been a misstep because people kind of like the Black Flag and then they went, oh, we can't have the Black Flag. We'll go Tales of the Valiant. And right after they announced Tales of the Valiant, we get told that they're going to have the, the Valiant Universe superhero RPG licensed from Valiant Publishing coming out around the same time. Those are problems, right? Now, let's take a closer peek at this. When does this ship? Well, Estimated delivery is next April. April 2024. Well, that's likely when not 60 ships, right? Right around then is when we're going to see probably the player's handbook get released first for 5e forever. And this hurts. This did not become the next Pathfinder. This is not the next Pathfinder. Folks were expecting a next Pathfinder. I'm sure Cobalt Press was expecting next Pathfinder. They don't have the next Pathfinder in hand. Now what does this mean for Wizards of the Coast? It means for Wizards of the Coast, you're most likely your strongest competition is, is not the competition that you feared. Now, Let's take a look at Shadow Dark. <clears throat> Shadow Dark had over 13,000 backers. We took in 1.365, nearly 366 million dollars. Came out of nowhere, right? I mean, certainly didn't have the press that Cobalt Press could put together. Certainly didn't have the backing from other third-party publishers. There's a list of third-party publishers that are backing what was Black Flag, the, the Valiant RPG. I still think of Prince Valiant. I'm sorry. So now, when are we going to be getting 
uh, our our books for for print for Shadow Dark. Uh, I think they were predicting uh, July. It's likely going to be slipping to August. Not a big slip. In the world of Kickstarters, that is like being early. So Shadow Dark will be in print for I don't know six, seven, eight months before the new version of D D releases. I know it's not a new version. It's the same game with just different whatever. Shadow Dark. And and and, and this by the way, uh for the the, uh, the handful of jackasses to go, oh, the OSR is dead. Old school gaming modernized, right? They, they, it's this the the engine that runs this might be based on Five E, but the the frame, the play, the way it drives. This is old school gaming. This is OSR. It means the OSR is adaptable, and it also means that this. Is going to be some major competition. Now, it's not going to steal the 5e market, don't get me wrong, but it's probably going to be more viable to support Shadow Dark than it's going to be to support Tales of the Valiant because Tales of the Valiant is simply 5e, but just, you know, 5.1 or whatever. It's got a little extra power to its classes. Same thing like Pathfinder did to their classes when they built off of 3.5. So, for those of you that were like, oh, Kobo's going to knock Watts you down and steal their perch, didn't happen. It's not happening. For those that were saying, the OSR is dead, it, it, it's not happening. It isn't happening. The OSR is it's vibrant, it's alive, but it may not necessarily be the OSR it was 10 years ago. Things evolve, right? I think Shadow Dark is an amazing game. Can't wait to get my copy in print. And uh, I, I need to really like that. I'm going to be running Swords and Woods Relight at Shire Con. I got to figure out if I want to run two sessions. If I run a second session, it's going to have to be Shadow Dark. So we shall see. Don't know yet. But definitely uh, Shire Con is in, uh, I believe, Canaan, Connecticut. In September, uh, it's going to be a day and a half. It's Friday night, and it's going to be Saturday, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you all can make it, I'll be there. Uh, Tom Wilson uh, is is running Thorry Games, is the one running the con. We're hoping for the largest Shire con yet. We've got more space, got new location. It should be a lot of fun. Folks, as always, as always, this is not. This is not a sponsored channel. If you want to support, there are affiliate links usually pinned to these uh, episodes. Feel free to use it. it. It helps. Really, it does. That, that's it. We don't have sponsors. We don't do advertising. Yes, YouTube does advertising, but we don't have paid sponsors. We don't have paid advertising. Nobody gets to pay to get their products shown on here. All right? So if you want to support, affiliate links are certainly a way to do so. Like, subscribe, and a comment. All right, folks. Be safe, be well, God bless. Roll those dice, roll them well. Tomorrow night, live stream. Mm -hmm -hmm. Going to get a little bit crazy. I'm telling you, a little bit crazy. Random party generator tomorrow night. All right, folks. Laters. <laughs>